Good morning, yogis, or whatever time of day it is for you. This is my first class on the GoPro, so hopefully um, it's a little bit better for you. And we're just going to get right into it. Okay? So let's just start in a comfortable seated position. Coming to easy seat. Let's cross either one leg in front, one leg on top. Take a couple shoulder rolls as your shoulders relax. You want to be strong here, but also soft. So just finding a place you can settle into your mat, settle into the floor. Relax the hands at a comfortable place, close into the eyes.
exhale, round the spine. As you press the palms forward, tuck the chin to the chest. Press the back of the heart open. Inhale, reach it up. You're gonna big arm circle all the way back. Fingertips to the mat. Inhale, lift the chest again. Shoulder blades together. Maybe a lift of the gaze, lift of the chin, just a little bit. And then bringing those hands to the knees. You're going to find circles through the rib cage. So going counterclockwise first. So you just bring your sternum forward and then rotate and round to the left and back and around. Sticking circles with the torso. Sort of like cat cow. It's circular, and we're going to switch directions. Once your sternum comes back to the front, switch it, and we go clockwise. Just moving into that spine a little bit more. One more time in this direction. And then coming to a nice neutral spine, we're going to inhale, arms up. Exhale, those hands down to the floor. Walk them forward to your edge. Sit bones stay rooted at the mat. Start to notice how the hips and the low back are feeling. It's our first forward fold. So take it easy and breathe. Notice where you're holding the tension. See if you can send your breath into those spaces and soften those muscles on the exhale. Good. coming back up to seated. Most of us have a leg in front, leg on top. You're gonna to switch that out so it's opposite. We can even out our hips, inhale, reach it up. And exhale, we find that fold second time. Whatever leg you have in front or on top is where you will feel most of the stretch in the hip. So finding your edge, each side a little different, so just be where you can with your breath. Trying not to round the spine, see if we can keep the heart reaching forward.
ready? Back onto the hands and knees, tabletop position. Tucking the toes under, getting a stretch through the bottoms of the feet. Press those hips back towards the heels. Root those toes into the mat. Spread your fingers wide, arms are shoulder width apart. Nice foundation through the hands. And then as you're ready, rolling over those toes, lifting your hips. Keep the knees bent, downward dog. Hi. <laughs> We're going to pivot on the balls of the feet. So lift your heels higher. Belly is resting at the quads. You're going to rotate your heels to the right, hips to the right. Press your left shoulder into the mat. Side body stretch, low back stretch. Good. Inhale back through center. You're going to pivot to the other side. We take the knees to the left, our knees to the right, heels and hips to the left. You ground your right shoulder towards the floor. Stretch and breathe. Inhale back to center. Keep those knees bent. You're going to inhale here. As you exhale, keep your right quad connected to your belly as you crunch forward into plank. Right knee comes with you. Inhale back belly to quads. Exhale left knee, left belly, or left quad stays at the belly. Then we inhale back. So always have one quad at the belly. Exhale right. Inhale, press it back. Exhale, left. Inhale, press it back. Nice and strong. One more time. Inhale. Exhale, crunch. To the right. Inhale, back. Exhale, left. So good, guys. Inhale, press it back. You're going to open your feet as wide as the mat and start to bring your hands towards the back of the mat for forward, a uh, wide leg fold. Knees are bent, grab opposite elbows, hang heavy, find a sway. Allow yourself to release. Meeting any discomfort or tension with the breath. We're gonna find a sundial, so as you sway, you can well, widen those feet if you'd like. You're going to hang on to the elbows, keep your biceps by your ears, inhale up and over to the right. So we're making a big circle with the body. As you exhale, come back down around through center. Two more in this direction. Inhale, nice strong obliques. Exhale, down and around. One more time. Inhale takes you up and over. Be sure to breathe. Exhale, down and around. We're going to switch directions as you inhale, switch to the left. Inhale up and over. Exhale down and around. Got it, SV. Two more. Inhale. Exhale. Once more. Inhale. Exhale down and around. Release. Coming back to center. Bringing those hands to the mat, you're going to turn your heels in, toes out, and start to drop your hips down into a yogi squat, malasana. And it's our first round, so find some movement, maybe rock side to side, press into those hips. Okay. Don't forget to breathe here. We're breathing down into the belly, hips, and low back. Bringing those hands to the mat. We're going to walk forward. You can bring those knees down. Bring them back towards each other. Tabletop position. And then we're going to extend one leg back at a time, coming into plank. Good. Eyes of the elbows rolling forward. Lean over the wrist a little bit. Exhale. Keep the elbows in as you lower all the way down. Untuck the toes. Inhale, baby cobra. So just the chest lifts, the hands are wide, elbows in and drawing back. We want the chest to open. As the heart pulls forward, the toes are reaching back, but tops of the feet are still grounded. Exhale, release. Again, inhale, full cobra this time. So there's weight in the hands, elbows are still curling in towards the body. Pull the shoulder blades together, lift the heart, lift the chest. 
exhale, release it down. Beautiful, we're gonna find another shoulder opener. Arms are gonna tee out. Bend your left uh, leg, flex your foot, and you're gonna roll over onto your right side. Relax the neck, maybe that left foot can plant behind you. And you can press into that left hand to stretch the right shoulder. Be gentle here, find your edge, your practice. Flex the foot, we roll over onto the left side body. Relaxing the neck, and we can use that right hand to maybe press us a little deeper, or we just stay where we are. And then slowly rolling back onto the belly. We bring those hands underneath the shoulders. Pressing up into tabletop, nice and strong. Tuck your toes. Shift your hips high to the sky. Downward facing dog. Maybe bending the knees still. Maybe starting to pedal into the legs. Start to feel the backs of the legs. Starting to open a little more. We're just going to move through Surya Namaskar A. Two times. Sun Salutation A. Super... Uh, just to help us warm up a little bit, super slow. We're gonna inhale, looking forward, start to walk or jump if you're ready to the top of the mat. Inhale, half lift. Heart reaches forward, lengthen the spine, exhale, fold. Inhale, arms reach up, lengthen to the sky. Exhale, hands down to heart center. Connect with your breath. We're just going to flow everything together. Nice and easy. Inhale, arms reach up. Strong body, strong breath. Exhale, forward fold. Release the muscles. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, plant the hands. Step or jump it back into plank. Exhale, lower halfway. Elbows graze the ribcage. Inhale, upward dog. Hips are off the mat. Exhale, draw those hips to the sky, nice and controlled. Three cycles of breath. Relax the neck. Shoulders rotate away from the ears. Hips are lifting as the heels mount. Inhale, high into the toes. Looking forward, step or jump to the top. Inhale, half lift. Find your speed, find your pace. Exhale, release. Slow your breath down. Inhale, rise. Exhale, seal it in. One more time, just like that. Same thing. Follow your breath. Inhales take you up, exhales take you down. One breath for every movement. Meeting in downward dog for three breaths. Really just using those vinyasas, that little flow, to connect your breath and body. Bring the two together. There's no movement without the breath, no breath without movement. Just trying to find that unity. We're going to inhale our left leg up to the sky. Reaching, stack the hips, bend the knee as you pull the heel in, lift the knee high. Press your left shoulder into the mat. Maybe some circles to the left, to the right, find both. Inhale that leg high as you're ready. Exhale, left knee, left elbow, shift forward, crunch. Keep the knee high, inhale, reach. Exhale, knee to nose, come into your center, pull it in and up, inhale, lengthen. Exhale, to your right, we come across the body for a twist, you got it, inhale, 
reach. Exhale, foot down to the mat, switch sides. Right leg on an inhale. Stack the hips, bend the knee, heel pulls in, you can flex your foot, knee reaches high, right shoulder to the mat. Find your circles. Both directions. Inhale, leg extends high, exhale, right knee, right elbow. Maybe tricep, keep it high. Inhale, reach. Exhale, knee to nose, crunch, pull it in and up. Inhale, rise. Exhale, to your left, come across the body, Drop, lift, keep the hips lifted, inhale, reach. Exhale, foot down to the mat, walk those hands back towards the feet. Roll up those wrists a little bit, you can widen your feet a little bit wider than the hips again, hang, knees bend, grab elbows. Wider than the hips, bring them right back underneath the hips. It's about two fifths worth apart. We're gonna hang heavy as we roll up. Keep the knees bent, just like a rag doll, nice and heavy. When you get to the top, find a couple shoulder rolls, release them down, and you're gonna inhale, arms up, gaze in between the hands. Lift high into the balls of the feet, strong belly, stacked spine. Take your baby steps to the top of your mat. You'll know when you get there. Once you get there, stay high on the toes, arms by the ears. You're gonna start to sit back. Shift your weight back towards the hips. If you need to lower the heels, you can. Come into chair pose. Otherwise, if we're challenging ourselves today, high on the balls of the feet, bring those arms behind the back, interlace. Inhale, lift your chest. Maybe you can bring your belly to your thighs. For that drinking bird pose, we reach those arms overhead. Stay high on the toes for two. And one, release your heels if you haven't already. Inhale, arms up, full chair pose, Utkatasana. Tailbone tucks under, light on the toes. As you inhale, rise to standing, straighten the leg. And cactus the arms, lift the chest. Exhale, swan dive it down, forward. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, plant the hands. Step or jump it back. Find your vinyasa. So you exhale, push up. Inhale, lift. Exhale, back downward dog. If you need it, inhale through the nose. Out through the mouth. Inhale, take the left leg to the sky again. Exhale, step it forward. Rotate your back heel down. Inhale, rise, warrior one. So finding our weekend warriors. So we're gonna bring the right hip forward as the left hip draws back, eventually getting our hip points to square forward. Um, women tend to need to widen their stance because so our hips are built differently. So open up if you need to. You don't have to be on a tight rope. You can open up to train tracks. Strong belly, lift and settle. Exhale, warrior two, arms reach out. You might have to open your stance. Front heel is perpendicular to the back arch and we're pressing the left knee out to the left pinky toe. Open your inner thigh. Shoulders right over hips, arms reach out, shoulders relax. Our gaze is right over the tip of our front middle finger. On an inhale, flip your left palm, reach up and overhead, right hand can slide down the leg or come around the back for a bind. Don't lose your bend in the front knee. Open up, inhale, and exhale, hands to the mat. Step back, lower, chaturanga. Inhale, lift, exhale back. So this is a, this flow is called Dance of the Warrior. Hitting all of our big warrior poses. 
try to slowly find a rhythm, find a flow. Inhale, right leg high. Exhale, step forward. For this first round, we'll just hold and feel it out. We're gonna start to flow it together. Back heel's gonna rotate down. Inhale, arms reach up, warrior one, other side. So left hip pulls forward, right hip pulls back, right? It's like we're scissoring the hips. Bend the front knee, press into the outer edge of the back foot. You want full foundation back there. Inhale, reach it up, relax the shoulders and breathe. Beautiful, exhale, warrior two, set it up. Front heel to back arch, knee pressing out to your right. Open your inner thighs, settle the shoulders over the hips, strong core. We flip that front palm, inhale, reverse, warrior. Reaching, try not to dump into that left side. See if you can reach up and then over, find more of an arch. Beautiful, exhale, hands to the earth. Step back, exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. Exhale, back, downward dog. So we're gonna find that flow. It's warrior one to warrior two, reverse back down to the mat. Maybe you find that flow, maybe you step right into downward dog, but just begin to find a little bit of your own rhythm, connect with the pace of your breath, maybe set an intention, a mantra, whatever your practice may be, you're gonna work with that here. I'm gonna try not to lead as much, we're just gonna flow together. We'll start with the left side, inhale. Exhale, step. Back heel down, inhale, warrior one. Rise. As you exhale, warrior two. Finding that flow. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, float out. Maybe you just step straight into downward dog. Maybe you flow. Keep it moving. Right leg, inhale. The slower you breathe, the slower you can move. So find your control. Control what you can. Inhale, warrior one. Exhale to two. Inhale to reverse. Exhale to the earth. Left side, inhale. Exhale, step. Warrior one, rise. To two, reverse. Down. Last time on this right side, take your time. On your own, you got it. Can. 
Coming back into tabletop position. Tucking our toes under, shifting ourselves back into downward dog. Let those hips fly high, heels melt, heart melts. Strong belly, wide hands. Inhale high into the toes. Lift your heels high, lift your hips high, let your heart melt towards your knees. Take a moment here. Exhale, settle those heels back down. See if they can go a little bit lower. We're going to inhale, left leg up to the sky. Big reach. Exhale, step it forward. Keeping your back heel lifted this time. Rise. Anjane Asana, crescent leg. Back leg is your stability. Press it. Strengthen it, lift up through the center, relax your shoulders. We're going to cactus the arms, lift the chest, try not to dump into the low back, instead lift from the sternum, let that back bend be natural from the ribcage up, breathe, exhale, we're going to lean forward, bring your biceps by your ears, hover the belly above the quad, nice and strong. We're energy from fingertips to back heel. Nice long line. We're gonna reach the arms back and press off the back toes, lift up warrior three for some balance. So hitting another warrior. This lifted leg is pressing and active. Hips are squaring towards the mat. Hands are behind us or heart center. The belly is strong. Pull just as much through the crown of the head as you're pulling through the heel. Balance. We're going to bend that left knee just enough to come to standing. You've got it. Bring that belly with you nice and strong. Knee comes out in front, hands at heart center. You guys got it. Flex your foot. You're going to bring that right knee, that right ankle above the left knee for a figure four. And then start to bend your standing leg. Press your right knee open. Standing pigeon. Try not to lean forward, lean back. Keep your hips stacked. Breathe here. Right foot is flexed. Now we're going to lean forward a little bit. Lead with a straight spine. The chest goes forward. The tailbone presses back. Find your stretch in the hip. Breathe. Two more breaths. Maybe go a little lower. Beautiful. You're going to inhale. Come to standing. As the arms reach up, let that right foot Right pinky toe come next to left. So keep the legs crossing. Inhale up. Then you're going to exhale to the right. Press your hips to the left. Inhale center. Other side. Hips to the right. Arms to the left. Inhale back to center. Uncross. Shake out those legs. Not too bad. You guys are good. We'll meet back at the top. Inhale, arms reach up. Let go of that balanced sequence here. Exhale, release it down. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, plant the hands. Step or jump back. Move through your vinyasa. Use this to flush out that balance. Whatever came up for you, feelings, emotions, frustrations, let it go. Control what you can. Right leg lifts on an inhale. Take it to the sky, nice and tall. Exhale, step it forward. Back heel stays lifted. Inhale, rise. Anjane Asana, right side. We are strong through the belly, not jumping into the low back. So strong. Controlling the breath. Inhale, cactus the arms. We lift from the center of our chest. Natural back bend, nothing forced, just a breath. As you exhale, lean forward. Belly hovers, arms squeeze in, biceps by the ears. The hips are strong here. 
As we reach the arms back, keep pressing forward through the back foot and we lift up Virabhadrasana 3, Warrior 3. Foot is flexed, the leg is active, holding up a wall. Crown of the head forward, strong belly. Trying to square your hip, so we're dropping that left hip to meet the right. Breathe. Each side a little different. Embrace the differences. No judgment on yourself here. We're gonna breathe as we lift to standing. Bring that left knee with you, you can do it. Breathe, flex your left foot. We're gonna bring that left ankle above the right knee, figure four. Keep that, right, uh, that left foot flexed as we start to bend the standing knee. Shoulders stay stacked over hips to start. Press your left knee open. Focus, find one place for your drishti, for your gaze to rest. And breathe. Very slowly, press your tailbone back like you're gonna sit down. And we take the heart forward, past the shin. Keep that spine long. Breathe here for three more full breaths. As you inhale, come to standing. Let that left leg cross over the right. Good, we're gonna take the left uh, the right wrist into the left hand, press your hips to the right, arms to the left. Stretch it out, inhale center, switch your grip, hips to the left, arms to the right. Inhale, back to center. Uncross the legs, arms down, shake it out. How we feeling? Hopefully good, nice and warm. We're going to stretch out those hips one final time and we'll come down to Shavasana. Inhale, reach it up. Flush out that balance. Exhale, fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, step or jump it back. Move through a vinyasa. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. Stretch those hips. Exhale, all the way back, downward dog. Release through the mouth. Inhale, left leg high. We're gonna exhale, step that left foot to the outside of the left hand. So towards the outer edge of your mat, both hands inside the left foot. Lower your back knee down. Untuck your back toes. You're gonna press your heart forward, lengthen your spine. And just notice how that feels in the hip. Try to keep your left knee hugging your left shoulder. If it's in your practice or you have books or you have blocks at home, you can bring them and rest on one. Or maybe you can come all the way down to the floor, right? Be where you can. We hold a lot of stuff in our hips, so this can you know, beat a lot where the breath becomes super important. We want to embrace the discomfort, the tension with the breath. Use your exhales to soften the space. Good. We're going to come back up onto the hands if we lower down. Keep your right hand uh, onto the mat, left hand inside of the left knee, and just start to slowly press that knee away from the body. Keep your left foot flexed if you're rolling to the outer edge of the foot, and then open your heart. See if you can twist, maybe look over your back shoulder. Good, coming back. Bring that foot in between the hands. Exhale, straighten your front leg. Flex your left foot, inhale the heart, the sternum, the solar plexus towards the toes, maybe a bend in the knee, exhale. Try to lengthen the spine over that leg. Good, bending back into that front knee. Let those hips drop a little bit, heart forward. 
And then tucking the toes, we're just going to step back into downward dog. Left le or right leg, I'm sorry, inhale, lifts to the sky, exhale, step it outside of that right hand. So same thing, second side, we lower that left knee down. Keep that knee hugging in towards the shoulder, press the heart forward, lengthen your spine to the front of the mat. Each side very different, so if we're not able to take it deeper, stay where you are. Maybe you rest at those books or block, or maybe you can come all the way down to the floor. No expectation. Don't expect it to look like anything. Just expect it to feel good. Maybe a little bit of discomfort. We just embrace the feeling. No pain, but some discomfort. So if you're feeling pain, back up a little bit. Listen to your body. Engage with the breath. Or books, move them, come back up, left hand plants, right hand inside of the right knee. We start to press that leg away, see what's available. You can turn the toes out a little bit too, and if you're rolling to the side of the foot, keep it flexed so the leg stays as one unit, protect your knee. And then we twist, maybe look over the back shoulder. Inhales, lift the heart. Exhales, drop the hips a little lower. toe back to center, foot in between the hands, exhale, straighten that front leg, flex that right foot, inhale, we pull the heart forward, lengthen the spine, exhale, now fold over that right leg, maybe a bend in the knee. Beautiful. Bend it back into that front knee. Take a moment. Fingertips stay at the mat. Lengthen the chest forward. Release that left hip. And then slowly untuck the toes. Step back downward facing dog. You can find just a little bit of movement in the hips. Pedal into that downward dog again. We're gonna inhale high into the toes, looking forward, step, jump through to a seated position. We're going to, uh, I'll face you for this. Bring your feet as wide as your mat, hands behind you, and we're just gonna windshield wiper to the left and to the right. And just release those hips. We'll bring the soles of the feet together. Heels pull in as close as you're comfortable. We're going to open the feet like a book. So thumbs underneath the balls of the feet. Feel them open. Sit tall. Inhale. Exhale. Fold over the legs. Again, we keep that long spine. Chest pulling forward. Maybe some pressure at the knees and the elbows. bring it back up. Keep your left leg bent and you're going to extend your right leg straight out. So sole of the left foot in the inner right thigh. You can pull it in a little closer. Flex your right foot. Inhale, arms reach up. You're going to rotate slightly towards that leg. Exhale, extend over that extended leg. Janushirtasana. Head to foot. We start to slowly take that spine both front and back of the spine lengthening down the leg. Find your edge, breathe. Stay rooted through that left bent leg. Inhale. 
inhale, bring it back up slowly, and we'll trade out the legs. Left leg goes out, right foot comes in. As close as you're comfortable. Flex your left foot, inhale up. We rotate towards the foot, exhale, extend. We're leading with the sternum, reaching for the toes, lengthening that entire front and back of the spine, down the leg. Relax the neck and shoulders, breathe into the back body. slowly bring it back up. We're going to extend both legs out in front of us. Left and right glute rolling out to the side. Flex your feet. Inhale, reach it up. Exhale, extend again. Long spine down the legs. Bend at the knees as needed. Find your edge. Breathe here. Slow down the breath. towards the front edge of our mat, feet plant, arms reach out in front of you, arms <laughs> reach out in front of you, start to round the spine, let each vertebrae connect with the mat as you lower all the way down, pulling those heels as close into the body as you can, arms by your side, palms flat on the mat, we're going to tuck the shoulder blades under. Take a cycle of breath here. Inhale through the nose. Exhale through the nose or mouth. On your next inhale, press those hips towards the sky. Keep tucking those shoulders under. You can keep the palms flat. You can grab for your ankles or maybe interlace your hands underneath you. Try to relax the glutes and use the low abs and the quads to lift. If the glutes can relax, you can keep that low back a little bit more open. Maybe lift a little bit higher. And slowly lower. You're going to tuck the tailbone under. Roll from top to bottom of the spine now. And let the sacrum lay flat on the mat. We're going to find two more rounds. You can continue to do this um, bridge pose, or you can take it into full wheel on your last round. So we'll do one more round of bridge, and then last round is optional. Maybe you're over it. <laughs> Maybe you want to do another bridge. Your practice, find what you want. Just some options for you. On your next inhale, lift those hips again. Maybe this time, if you didn't before, interlace your fingers this time. Really open the shoulders. Relax the glutes, press through the quads. The shins are pressing forward, feet feel like they're sliding on the mat. Active core, nice and strong. Breathe for three, for two, and one. Again, we tuck the tailbone, maybe lift the heels, let yourself flatten back down onto the mat. One more round, optional, you can do it what we were just doing. Or if full wheels in your practice, you're gonna bring those hands by the shoulders, elbows facing up, totally optional. Pick your poison, bridge, wheel, nothing. You're gonna inhale, lift wherever you're at, and breathe for five this time. Ready, tuck your chin to your chest of your wheel. Slowly roll down. Your feet are going to open as wide as your mat again and drop the knees from side to side. Do that several times before we pull the knees into the chest. Just give that low back a moment to adjust. 
And we slowly start to bring those knees into the chest. Rock side to side. Massage out that low back, maybe some knee circles outlining that sacrum. Giving yourself a nice squeeze. You're gonna keep that left knee in, right leg goes long. And we're gonna find a supine twist to close out the class. So knee pulls in, maybe out to the side a little bit. And then exhale, twist. Maybe shift your hips to the left as well. Optional, we find that twist, left shoulder always staying rooted down. If it's possible, you can take your gaze to the left hand. Full spinal twist, breathe into that low back. Deep breaths. Slowly come back to center. Give that left knee one more squeeze and then switch it out. Right knee in, left leg long. Maybe pull that right knee out to the side a little bit. On an exhale, twist. Maybe shift your hips to the right a little bit. Find that edge with that shoulder blade. That right shoulder blade still flat. Maybe you take your hand, your gaze over to your hand. center as you're ready. Right knee gives a little squeeze and that will bring both knees into the chest. We'll find a happy baby to finish. Knees spread apart. Grab for the inside or outside edges of the feet. Draw the sacrum flat to the mat as you pull the knees to the outside of the rib cage. You can be still or you can rock. Find whatever feels good here. If there's anything else you feel like you need before you come to Shavasana, listen to your body. Move safely, move with the breath. And just slowly start to find yourself coming into that final resting position. Legs long, arms by your side, palms up. Relax the face, we're gonna inhale through the nose. Out through the mouth. Sealing the lips, but keep the teeth open. Tongue comes off the roof of the mouth. Relax the jaw. Let the eyeballs soften into the skull. Let your body grow heavy. Absolutely nothing left here for you to do. Thought is inevitable, but what you can control is releasing those thoughts. So control what you can. As the thoughts come, acknowledge them, let them go. Lay here for as long as you need. Shavasana, just absorbing the practice, taking with it what you need, leaving behind what's no longer serving you. 